So this was the original sample. Take that loop and just kind of change the pitch a little bit. We're going to add probably the most important thing. It's that bass line. Before you know it. My name is Tyler Gasson, the owner, uh, creator, brand manager of the Gas Station Recording Studio. Majority of my family does music of some sort. We're heavily, um, you know, rooted in church. So a lot of us were church musicians. So uh, I was kind of born into it. I think it's common that, you know, you don't really grow up thinking that uh, being a rapper or producer is as realistic or um, as promising as uh, playing sports or, you know, going pro in that sense. So during college, I was studying uh, music technology. And so I took all the courses there while I was on football scholarship. I just had a great year, uh, a great four years there at UNLV, and I got a chance to go and play professionally. So from there, I went undrafted to the San Diego Chargers. And then after camp, I was uh, cut. And it was at that point I just realized like, yo, I don't really love this as much as I do other things. And that other thing, those other things that I spoke about um, was music. Well, six years ago, I stopped playing football wholeheartedly and I started focusing on music. It's four years now, going on five in this business, actually. I'm talking uh, with an actual LLC and things to back it uh, the right way. So I got to see both sides of it. I got to see the multi-million dollar studio at UNLV and, and wonder like, uh, wow, I'm only allowed to do this because I'm on football scholarship. And so being on this side, it only makes sense that uh, somebody from this side can help tell the story of this side. Being a plant from North Las Vegas, I think it was just on me to, you know, shine a light and bring the quality of the palms or of the UNLV studio back to this side of town so that they don't have to travel, you know, uh, crazy far to, you know, get quality or to get somebody who actually knows what they're talking about and, and cares about their music. Hey, Dino. What's going on, Gas? What's up, man? How you Good doing? Good to see you, bro. Yes, sir. Likewise. Ready to get this work in, man. All as well. So, as you know, to keep on brand with the Dino music that I'm pr uh, producing. Mm -hmm. I got something that's kind of uplifting, you know, to a, a girl who's kind of been through it. Mm -hmm. But uh, I wanted to have like a trap soul kind of vibe, okay. something that I know anybody could, you know, learn the lyrics and just vibe out too while they're putting makeup on. All right, man. Well, let's do it. Let's see what we got here as far as uh, some beats or whatnot. Our city in general has a lot of talent that I do believe that if they continue to work hard, uh, they're going to bring a lot more light to the city than just the strip provides. Something in your song has to be catchy. It has to be so catchy that people can't forget it. Whether that's your lyrics, whether that's your beat, whether that's how you specifically approach the song, um, whatever you can do to make somebody uh, not forget your, your music or make somebody remember uh, something that you did in your song. Uh, I like to start with the melodic content first. And I think that is the pretty much meat and potatoes of making the beat. Uh, chord progression, I think that kind of sets the mood for the beat, uh, for whatever genre it may be. Um, in that particular beat, that happened to be an Aaliyah sample. I created my own bass line. Then we can add drums and you know other things that actually bring the, the beat to life. Uh, the different instruments that you hear in trap soul or you know urban genres. And then I got more bars after that. So you want to do those bars? Just the hook. Separate? Yeah. Okay. And then we'll uh, <clears throat> punch in for the verses. You punch in for the verses. Yeah. So right now we're about to do the hook. Hook. Copy that. All right, Medine, second verse. Got the Leah's sample. Okay. Oh yeah, I could do something with this. What makes him different than everybody else is that he makes you feel comfortable no matter where you are. You know, as an artist, as a person, where you're coming from, what kind of music you're into, and coming into a place like this, you think that you have to, you know, bring a certain energy and be a certain way to kind of go along with whatever's out there in the uh, current music scene but for me I mean I'm a really corny goofy guy and I like making music that makes people feel good but it's speaking from the heart and Gas got that really quickly and I feel like just his personality and what he brings to the table lets that come out through the music and it's a really therapeutic session I really feel like I'm putting something together that I'm proud of and I could put out there on social media and promote and really develop so I, I mean 
something different than I've been through with any other producer that I work with. So he has like this, uh, this LL Cool J vibe thing going. Uh, it's kind of like a uplifting, but yet moody, you know, sexy uh, type of vibe. So sometimes uh, dropping a beat when he's saying something imperative, maybe like uh, something that is heartfelt pertaining to the, the female that he's talking about in this situation. We can drop the beat there to make sure people like Yo, really hear that and let it resonate in people, you know. Um, on the producing end of things, just, you know, breaking the uh, monotony a little bit wherever I can so that people refocus on uh, important things that he is saying. Make it a little warm so it has the feel, but also um, bouncy in a sense because it's like a modern uh, R&B, trap soul type of vibe, so. The it factor is kind of unspoken. It's like, you ever just been in the room with somebody and it's like their personality is just like a, a thermometer. And in a sense, if the room is cold, they have the ability to heat the room up. If the room is hot, they can cool the whole, th the whole thing down. They're good with tension. Their personality just radiates. And um, in terms of music, somebody singing, you know, like the personality just comes out so much. It's like, man, it makes you wonder uh, about that person. And it could be a look, it, it could be, you know, it's a, a host of things, but you'll know if you have it, you know? And if you don't, you don't. It's just, it just is what it is in that way. The process in general always changes. And uh, I think that's a good part about being a, a seasoned engineer or producer is that you go with the flow. Uh, let's say I'll have uh, a young kid come in who's never, you know, recorded or done anything of this sort before in the, or in, in the studio, per se, uh, for the first time. Their process is, is a little different than somebody who's been rapping for years. So just in general, um, I'll have them come in. We'll get their instrumental uh, keyed up into the program. We'll load it up. I'll get all the metadata that I need, BPMs, uh, key of song. Uh, try to get like a, a small idea or a summation of how the song, uh, how they picture the song in their head. And then I'll take that going into actually hearing them record the song. So as we're recording, right? Um, then I'm getting a, a more vivid picture of what they're trying to do with the song. And then I can uh, professionally like help them bring it to life. Uh, here at the gas station, we offer services in music production, whether that's teaching, engineering, uh, or actually producing uh, instrumentation for you. We also do um, all types of recordings, whether they're podcasts, uh, for movies, for scripts, uh, general voiceover work. If you'd like to book a session, uh, feel free to reach out to us on the Instagram pages. Either one of uh, our engineers can uh, accommodate you for a session if you reach out through DM or if you happen to reach out through our, our business phone, you can do that as well.